how do we make use of these available information of these advertisements using what tactic to sell their things and how do we reap profit from this Hey everyone, so this video is a response to Beat the Bushes video on how materialism is modern slavery. And so he defined materialism as spend all your income, take pictures of your designer bags and post them online, take bar tabs of your friends or family, things like that, and four, exotic vacays. And so out of the four, I want to say I probably do two of them. Yeah, and uh, it is number two and number four. So do I agree with his theory of materialism as modern slavery? You know the answer, it is no. Why? He is saying that people are immersed in advertisements and not immune to them. This leads to people buying unnecessary things and buying things in general. And so how about we uh, change in perspective? Yes, it is true that advertisers use a lot of tactics, psychological tactics, to drill into people's minds and change people's behavior, persuade people to buy things, and that is already a known truth. Of course, advertisers are trying to sell us things because that's what they do, and most people already know about it. But how about we change change the perspective? People are brainwashed by advertisements, they go out and buy things, but why? Why do people do that? What can I learn from this? What can I learn from advertisements, their tactics? What makes them so effective? So that's learning about psychology. What makes these tactics so effective? And two, how can I benefit from them? Yes, we know that advertisers use certain tactics to trick people into buying things, but how can I personally benefit from this? So let me just use myself as an example. I noticed that these luxury so-called high-end brands, they use advertisements to trick or persuade middle class into buying their bags. And so how can I benefit from this? I can benefit from this by making YouTube videos on luxury bags. I can benefit from this by selling secondhand luxury bags. So instead of pointing fingers and be like, oh my God, this is awful. Uh, these advertisers are just brainwashing us into buying things. Why don't we change our perspectives and think, how and why. And number two, he gave the example of monks and how monks tend to just grow their own stuff, eat their own stuff, and just be self-sustainable. But my counter argument is that not everyone are monks. If people are monks, if most people are monks, we wouldn't be here watching YouTube videos or making YouTube videos. And so for us non-monks, how can we survive in this so-called world of advertisements? It is more practical for us to think. How do we make use of these available information, of these advertisements, using what tactic to sell their things, and how do we reap profit from this? Because not everyone are monks, and I mean, props to you if you are a monk watching this video, but I am pretty sure 99.9999% of my viewers are not monks. And so us normal people should think about how do we benefit from this situation. And also, once we learn about the tactics, we know how to deal with it ourselves. We know how to think about our purchases logically. And so what I promote on my channel is that there should not be extremes. I do not promote buying everything or every luxury designer item. I promote prioritizing what you really want in life, what you really need in life. And so you really have to think logically, constantly about your purchases and what you spend money on. Think about cost per wear, value retention, urgency, and need. Cost per wear, of course, as low of a cost per wear as possible. So think about how many times are you going to use this item. The more, the merrier. Number two is value retention. If you buy this item today, is it going to maintain its value five years or ten years down the road? Number three, urgency. How urgent is this purchase? If you don't buy today, what's going to happen? Can you wait till the next sale? Can you wait till the next promotion? Need, do you really need this item or is it a want? And of course, in my need versus want, need, of course, it is purchases that you need, but underneath want, there's also two subcategories. Number one is cannot earn profit in the future. And so if you only want this and this cannot earn profit in the future, I would 
strongly urge you to reconsider this purchase. But the second is that if you can earn profit in the future, and this is the second subcategory of a want. If you want this item and it can earn profit in the future, I will give you a green light to this purchase because this item does not depreciate over time. It has good value retention and hopefully it also has good cost per wear. But even if it's not the case, if it has good value retention, it still means you won't lose your money. And so here is my response video to Beat the Bushes video and viewpoint on how materialism is modern slavery. I strongly disagree with a lot of his points and so here I provide my counter argument. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Also, I make videos every single day. Be sure to click the subscribe and bell button. Like if you like this video. I also have a lot of money hacks in my info box. Be sure to check that out and I will see you in my next video. Bye!